Hey guys, it's Eric. Check it out. I got this Renology BT1 Bluetooth module to go with my new Renology Sar uh, solar charge controller. So I'm just going to open it up. We'll figure out how to plug this thing in. Oh, wow. Well, that's really straightforward if I ever. <laughs> it's literally a, a phone cord. And there's the module. So I'll get a little screw to screw that to the side of the wall. And it comes with some stickers. And here's the manual for it. And we'll just go ahead and take it out there and set it up. I have to go through the setup for the charge controller itself, but we'll go through that as well. And we'll get it done. So I just want to do this so it's a lot easier to be able to keep track of what's going on with your solar panels and, and how they're charging and the state of charge and all the rest if we can do it from the house. And that is what this is going to allow us to do. Let's do it. All right. Well, here we are inside the house and I've got the app loaded up. And the first thing you need to do is go to device information and search. There's my unit. And you're going to see it come up here very shortly with some information, right? It's the Rover 60 amp, blah, 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 right? So let's go to record keeping because this is kind of cool. So my system was actually offline yesterday. So you're not going to see anything there. But here we go. So we had a rainy day on the 26th. And the 24th, it was pretty cloudy, so only one kilowatt. That's not good. But on a more normal day, 3.5, I usually get about four to six kilowatt hours if I'm using stuff and charging on a sunny day. As you can see, I made 131 amp hours of power that day. And if we go back, I mean, there's another 0.9. There's 3.8. I mean, you can get the idea here. So that's kind of cool. Maximum power, wattage output, stuff like that will show up. It also keeps a running total down here at the bottom. Uh, about 2,000 amp hours I've created so far since I installed this about a month ago. And then we can go to this page here, and it's going to show us uh, wattage right now, current that's coming in, and how many uh, watts. So it's not quite sun up yet. I mean, it is like... We're, but I don't have the panels aren't in full sunlight. Plus it's, it's fall, so we're not gonna get ideal wattage. The best I usually get out of this setup is about 900 watts. Average is between 650 and 750. So this is about, oh, this is about normal. And it is pretty low. Battery voltage is 24.4 because it is early in the morning and I do use this to run a third of our house. So we've been using it. And it's showing the outside temperature, so. Pretty cool. And it even gave a warning over discharge because last night it got pretty low. We had run this thing for hours and hours and hours editing videos. And so it, it used up our batteries. It was one of the reasons why we're adding more batteries to this, this system. It's not that the solar isn't enough solar power or panels. It's that we don't have enough batteries to, uh, to keep up with it. The down here, you don't see anything down here. There's nothing really to see down here because I don't have any uh, 24 volt load onto it. So that's that's what goes on there. That's why you don't see any numbers there. If you had a 12 volt Renology setup and you were uh, you know running lights off of it, well, that's where you would see your voltage, current, and load. Anyway, that's the BT1, and I got to be honest with you, it's nice not to have to go out in the rain or in the you know at night when I get home from work to check to see how things worked out. I can just go in here. And, and look directly and see, hey, look at this. This was this is what it did this day. This is what it did that day. If and I know, you know, weather wise, I just keep track of what the weather was those days. But uh, not bad. So like this day, we must have had great sunlight, uh, 954 watts. That's beautiful. And 2.74 uh, kilowatts is all we needed. So why didn't it create five or six kilowatts? But because the batteries were apparently fully charged, and I didn't have that big of a draw on it. So some of the stuff you're seeing here, it's kind of confusing at first. It takes a while to, to get used to all these numbers. And I know I had to do a lot of research myself to get it right, but I like it. Overall, I like it. I think it was worth the 30 bucks I paid for it or 35 and setup was so easy, you know, hey, why not? Till next time, my friends, take care.